Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Friday, November 9th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You're looking at the locations approaching or surpassing unofficial or official daily temperature records. We're talking record lows. Dark blues are all-time record lows ever recorded. Northern California, Nevada, yeah, Oregon, Wyoming, right here. It was 7 degrees this morning, smashing the record of 11. 7 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like, you know, 15 below in centigrade if you're up there in Canada. It's cold. Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Canada, Minnesota. Say it ain't soda. Boom! These people. We call them sheeple. Those are the facts coming out today. Record lows being broken. It's only the beginning. We have a seven-day sweep of record low temperatures being crushed across North America and around the world. This is going to be moving east and south through next week. You know it's cold outside when you go outside and it's cold. That's what I'm told. Heads up. You've entered the effing awesome classroom, and it's not your fault. We're hardworking, grateful, passionate, creative, caring, determined, blessed, inspiring, flexible, ambitious, patient, dedicated, excited, resourceful, thankful, inspired, innovative, motivated, eager, enthusiastic, energetic, and appreciative, and committed to bringing you the news each and every day. Entire California town destroyed. Tens of thousands flee Los Angeles. This is the campfire at least six confirmed dead. Many more will be revealed. Evacuations ordered for Paradise, Polga, and Concow in Northern Cali due to the campfire. Authorities confirmed several injuries. Hundreds of structures destroyed. Over a thousand being reported right now. I don't know how. Well, it's the fire. That's why. In Southern California, several fires burned in Ventura and L.A., prompting thousands of evacuations. Lee Wilbarger has been covering this live for over 36 hours. Him and others need showers, evacuation orders, and road closures for Woosley and the Hill Fire, which exploded today. High winds, Santa Ana's dry conditions, terrible fire management, and on and on. Overpopulation. And you get wildfire evacuation centers at Taft High School, Santa Rosa Valley, California. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered and underway in Ventura and L.A. Two separate brush fires erupted within miles of each other on Thursday. The 101 freeway was shut down both directions in Liberty Canyon. And the Woosley jumped over the 101 near Cheesebro Road. Lee's also covering those fires. There are hundreds of fires west of the divide burning currently. Let's talk about the freezing conditions and the grand solar minimum now. Rare early November snow arrives in Chi-Town. That's not my town, but it may be your town. With temperatures more like mid to late December and low pressure moving through the area, accumulating wet snow made an early season appearance Friday morning. With a forecast of 1 to 2, the last time we had received this much snow this early was back in 1989, which was pretty fine. I remember parachute pants, don't you? Minnesotans don't know how to drive in the snow. Bah! Well, say no bah. <laughs> yeah. More than 350 crashes reported statewide amid snow. And that's not Minnesota. Oh, yeah, it is. It's Minneapolis. Minnesota got a pointed reminder. The winter is coming. Not for a long time, but it's coming eventually, probably in about a month and a half. And for all its intents and purposes, is practically here. Are you queer? Negative three from Halleck down to Worthington. That's the whole state. And that's everyone's fate in the northern reaches. 45 degrees in north latitude is not our common platitude. It will be cold and epic snows as the events unfold over the decades. 
In the last 24 hours, WCCO meteorologist Lisa Meadows says three inches of snow fell on Ostego, Newport. St. Paul saw two and a half. Other parts of the state saw at least an inch. What a cinch. Ow, I need a pinch. Snow update for this afternoon and evening. Only a few trouble spots lingering. I'm sure it's stingering. Get your shovels out. Three to six inches of snow predicted today and tonight up in New England. Yeah, that's New England. I'm cool. All right? I went to school. The National Weather Service predicts three to six inches of snow will fall this afternoon tonight, which is now. The nearest Weather Service office in Burlington issued winter weather advisories covering the True Lakes Village, Tupper, Saranac, Lake Placid, as well as the rest of Franklin, East Essex, plus Southeast St. Lawrence. Heads up! Did you know the St. Lawrence River has... A huge amount of psychoactive drugs in the water that everyone drinks there? <laughs> Say it ain't so. Yes, sheeple. We're going to be talking about the pituitary in a minute. Stick with us. I'm going to give you one of the biggest tips that makes me absolutely insane every day. The advisory is in effect from 3 p.m. until 5 a.m. Saturday. Snow could be more moderate to heavier times and blah, blah, blah. It's fall. All right? Put on a shawl. <laughs> and... That's the way it is. First major lake effect snow of the season coming likely. Yeah, yeah, I think it's likely coming. Saturday. Slushy 1-2 to two from Youngstown Champion. Heads up if you're on the edge of the lake from Cleveland North. Yeah, you're going to get it. Six weeks for winter. Storm to bring widespread snow, rain, and travel disruptions across the eastern half of the U.S. next week. Ooh. This guy is really making me miserable. A large storm is forecast to affect much of the eastern half of the nation during the first part of next week with rain, even snow for parts of the south, midwest, and northeast. It's true. Motorists can expect wet conditions with blowing, spraying, ponding, poor drainage areas along Interstate 10, 20, 77, 81, 85, 95. Try not to hide. The storm will come together and gather moisture over the Gulf of Mexico on Monday and ride northeastward during Monday night and Tuesday. And what a ride it will be, possibly flooding for most of the southeast, north of Florida. Yeah, Georgia, South Carolina, not so fina. The storm will be a rain event for most of the south and eastern seaboard. But on the backside of this baby is record cold temperatures nipping it in the bud. Yes. I'm no dud. Some snow is forecast for the northwest flank, and there's a potential for strong, locally severe thunderstorms in the warm, humid air over the deep south. Yeah, download the AccuWeather app if you're an idiot and you want to be monitored. Due to the saturated, saturated state of the ground, falling leaves, blocking storm sewers, even a moderate amount of rain will lead to epic flooding. And as the storm advances Monday night into Tuesday, very cold air is following behind. Heads up, Nashville! It's about to be Smashville because no one in Nashville knows how to drive. In uh, November, what, during a snowstorm, Pittsburgh, you're about to get it. I just predicted it. Tuesday is your lose day. Boston, <laughs> you know how it works up there. Don't shave your legs, use Nair. This means the cities such as Oklahoma City, Nashville, Cincinnati, and others may receive snow. Ow! You prick! I gotta go get a train. This is insane! Oh my god. Diamond's so lame. He curses and stuff. I can't share this with my children and my Christian friends. I have to unsubscribe now. There's also the likelihood for a chance of snow over the spine of your arse called the Appalachians in the East Coast and the western slopes of the mountain chain during the last part of the storm from south to north spanning Tuesday to Tuesday night. It's not a fright. It's just early season snow and they said it wouldn't be so and now their bullshit's got to go. As a result of the wintery aspect of the storm, motorists should be prepared and not scared for a wide variety of shit hitting the fan ranging from ice, snow, and other shit hitting the fan along portions of I-35, I-40, I-70, I-80, I-81, I-87, I-90, I-91, I-95. I'm, I'm going alive! Uh, Fast-moving nature of this storm will limit any coastal flash flooding issues, thankfully, to a few hours from the front side of the storm. Yeah, it's going to be warm and moist on the coast. 
and they're gonna love it the most. But you guys on the backside in the Appalachian chain, it's not gonna rain, it's gonna snow. The storm in its wake winds will increase from north and west, which will drive cold air from the plains in the Midwest into the deep, deep, deep regions of the south and the eastern seaboard. Winds on the backside of the storm may be strong enough from Minnie to Chi-Town to Boston in New York and Washington, D.C. to lead to airline delays once again before we're and not even in winter. <laughs> the gusty nature of the winds may also lead to sporadic power outages and the beginning of the destruction of the infrastructure in your particular nation. Whew, you understand my frustration. Weather blog, for the first time this season, snow is coming down in many parts of Northeast Ohio. Oh my oh! Early Friday morning, snow started coming down in many parts of Northeast Ohio. Residents in Medina, Shaker Heights, and Copley, to name a few, woke up to see snow covering their yards, cards, and bushes. Even this creepy red doll got involved. Yes. If you're heading out on the roads, keep an eye on slick spots. Akron, it looks like a nightmare. Canton, it looks like absolutely no snow in that region. But north and east and west, everywhere. Boom! That's the 7.30 a.m. radar. I got amazing gaydar. Yeah, I worked in the gay rights movement for a decade. Fire concerns persist for California. We know that. We just talked about it at length. But we have red flag warnings issued all the way from Northern California to Central California and South where the fires are burning and churning. Heavy lake effect snow expected. And check out the map. It is not crap. These are frost and freeze warnings. And that is nothing to sneeze about. But it's everything to freeze about. Even the light blue. This is not, this is, this is exactly as predicted. The combination of unseasonably warm weather. Do you see that dichotomy of information? The unseasonably warm weather that does not exist because these are frost and freeze warnings. What the f are they talking about? The combination of absolute lies, dry vegetation, and strong gusty offshore winds are keeping dangerous fire weather concerns intact for California this weekend, where it is about to get buried by mid-November through the Sierras with heavy snows that we're going to talk about in just minutes. Meanwhile, a departing northeastern storm system will allow the polar vortex to drop into Mexico. Say it ain't so. Man, they don't know how to report on shit. But if you could see the lake effect warnings and the frost and freeze warnings, and you can realize that it is November 9th. <laughs> then you're picking it up. Because we're putting it down. Here's the real forecast. Cold in the northeast, which they call Hoth. How do people live like this in the central areas where the highs will not get above 20 by midweek? Cold over here, on fire over there, unusually cold where we are. 39 in Texas. Are you kidding me? Cold over this whole region. And thanks, Obama. You sons of bitches. They did it. That's a NOAA forecast coming out today. Let's check the GFS model. We'll do our own forecasting. Because we do it live. And we do it real. And it always goes back to the last model before we get there. Let's talk about some migratory birds arriving early because they left early. Now, migratory birds begin their arrival early in Kashmir. This is bad. You know why? They left early because it was so cold where they were. They have over 10,000 migratory birds that are arriving early because the places they're coming from are so unseasonably cold. That's what I'm told. Check the links.
We will never subscribe to you, but we will check the GFS model in full effect. Let's check it out. This is what it's all about, and this is how it's going to unfold before your very lives. Let's take it to now, and we'll bring it forward. Let's just bring it through your Sunday. This is fun day. So take a look, guys. Saturday morning, we're going to wake up. But it's going to be a shakeup. Check it out, Maine. Half your state is going to be buried. We're talking heavy snows throughout all of upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire. Yeah, some light snows all the way down into Tennessee. You're going to see it's going to be cold. Then we have snows blanketing, light snows, Montana, North Dakota, and that's going to move through the weekend into your Monday morning, all the way down. Yeah, you're going to get it, Albuquerque. Way before the turkey. And these snows are also showing up in very strange anomalous areas here in South Carolina and Georgia in November. Watch it. I'll move it through. It keeps pushing south, all the way south into Texas. There's snow here in Mexico. Say it ain't so in Mexico in the fall. I'm not making this shit up. The model's making it up. <laughs> so we're just going to keep piling it up and watch it hit the Sierras at the mid-November time. Are you seeing this snow map? Oh! I mean, I'm... Where's the global warming? Probably they're going to claim it's right here, somewhere in western Iowa. Here is the global warming hole. Remember when they talked about the global warming hole last year? Yeah, the hole is getting smaller, folks. And their lies are getting taller. <laughs> and I love just showing you these models, which are absolutely insane. Showing snow in mid-fall in the Baja Peninsula. I haven't, I, I haven't even seen it ever snow there. I've never seen it snow in the Baja Peninsula. And it's going to snow there, according to this model, sometime in the middle of fall. Right there. Boom. Baja gets it. Do you see that? Show low. Disclosure con. You're getting some more. Another foot. All the people say, I don't even remember snow here. It never snows here. Yeah. Well, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it in epic proportions. Seismic update. We have a major uptick worldwide in moderate quaking. It is shaking, but no major quakes of note. Double banger here in the mid-ocean ridge, 5.8. That's not great. But nothing else of note. We are in a seismic uptick. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Let's go over the Worldwide Volcano News Update. We have Sabancaya eruption at Ibico. That's ongoing. The uptick continues. San Taguito, Fuego, Krakatoa, Chevaluch, Ducono, Reventador. Check it out. Lots of reported upticks happening. Now, here's the tip of the day before we go any farther. Eighteen minutes into the update, <clears throat> and you're looking at a video that ten million people have already viewed. And I hope you have, and I hope you use this. I have a deviated septum because one of my nostrils does not even work. So that's very difficult for me to manage. I could get an operation, but whatever. What I want to be able to do is breathe well. And this technique is my secret to not only breathing well, but to seeing well. And I don't mean through my two eyes. I mean through my third eye. And the doctor here is really not going to touch on that much. But all I want you to do is keep an open mind, listen to what he has to say, and try it right now while the video is happening. And then comment live, because this is going to be live. <laughs> this is live. And tell me what you feel. Because it has such an immediate result on me. I think it is one of the biggest secrets being withheld from humanity. So just check it out. Thumb reflexology. Check Dr. it. Dr. Mandel here with you. Do I have a technique 
and I would love to share with you. It's a technique that involves the thumb working with pan reflexology that works directly with the brain, particularly the anterior and posterior pituitary gland that's located above the spinodal sinuses. If you look here, you can see the other sinuses, the frontal sinus, the ethmoidal sinuses, and the maxillary sinuses are all interconnected. Now the main function of these hormones is to excite or stimulate a particular part in the body known as the target gland. I'm getting excited. What's amazing is this pituitary gland is the size of a pea and it secretes all these different hormones. So just thyroid stimulating hormone affects the thyroid gland. There are millions of people who have symptoms of hypothyroidism, fatigueness, tiredness, lack of energy, weight gain, as well as many other symptoms. So this technique will be done in two phases. The first phase, for the first 20 seconds, we're gonna stimulate right in the center of the thumb. We're gonna pinch it, pinch both pinch sides, pinch it hard together, back and forth. Pinch it. Pinch and release. Pinch it your thumb, like you mean it. Some of you may feel some changes as you do this back in the nasal region, okay? Now, after 20 seconds, you're gonna take these same two fingers, and I want you to squeeze the side part of the nail bed. Bend your nail bed a little. Just like this. You're Not so it hurts. It together. But so just like this. You feel it hard. Okay, you're going to squeeze it. And you're going to hold that point. Go ahead. Just hold it. Boom! And you're going to hold it anywhere Don't you feel from that? Oh my God. 30 seconds to a minute. Wow! And as you hold it right now, I'm starting to feel changes behind my nasal area. I feel it opening up. I can feel my sinuses open up. I can feel myself breathing better, but I'm feeling pressure relieving back in my sinus area. This is stimulating the pituitary gland right now. Many people will get different symptoms. Some of you may feel a surge of energy, clarity, more focus. Uh, you may feel that you can breathe better. You feel more connected with yourself. Most of you will feel some type of change behind the nasal area. Some will feel more, some will feel less. If you don't feel anything, don't be disappointed. Try it again later on. Do it again the next day. Do it several times. See if your body starts to kick in. I expect you to see wonderful changes in your health as well as your breathing, your sinus, and your clarity, which is extremely important. I hope that your health will benefit from this video. I ask you please to share this on your social media so we can reach out to others and help them as well. Please come check out Motivational Doc. Give him a thumbs up and subscribe. Just like I did. This guy's awesome. Only because he knows this technique and I just found out about this video today. It's something I've been using for a decade to help my deviated septum and to help me meditate and connect with the higher power. It has such an immediate result on my health. You can use this for healing other people and making them to believe in alternative medicine immediately. So this is one of the keys to moving forward and a tip I just wanted to share with you that came across my plate today. Let's talk about LeakCon 2019. Yeah, let's talk about the ant people. Let's talk about the truth. Yeah. What's well, actually melting away, Al? <laughs> the proof. We're talking about the truth. The facts are in. And we just shared them with you. Yeah, 23 minutes worth of facts. If you were looking for anything else from this channel, I apologize. We don't deliver anything but facts. No dogma here. Go away. The time is now. Keep calm and start preparing. Yeah, start prepping, do it. Best place to start prepping is My Patriot Supply. We have a link below that supports the channel so that you can support yourself while supporting our videos. Give the gift of preparedness. Yes, you can do it for Christmas. The Patriot Gift Seed Set. It's a no brainer. Save 60 bucks on a four week emergency food supply. I don't know why. Give the gift of preparedness. This Christmas, if you give anything but seeds and preparedness to your loved ones, then you're not picking up what we're putting down. 
This could save people's lives. And when they're eating it and surviving, they're going to know who gave it to them. <laughs> Do it. What else are you going to give them? Now let's talk about LeakCon 2019. May 18th and 19th in Denver, Colorado. And that's a boom. Now the reason we're doing this conference is to allow all of you to meet the people in the movement. The people, uh, maybe you're, you're fans of a lot of these speakers. Their books. Their YouTube channels. But mostly what you're going to do is you're going to be able to interact with like-minded people in a way that you, if you've never been to one of these conferences, you're going to have some of the best conversations of your life. Because everyone there is on the same plane as you are. <laughs> it's the best way I can put it. I don't know why this isn't loading. I wish it would load. Let's talk about space weather before we leave. We're coupling with the coronal hull here. Come look at the phi angle here. Shifted 18 hours ago. Now way up top. Density's up. Plasma stream is increasing. And that means we could be going into geomagnetic storm over the weekend. It is my forecast that we'll get to KP6 sometime on Saturday. So look for it to be up to KP6. But that's the highest it's going to get. Nothing major as we enter this major coronal hole stream that we've just coupled with. I think there might be an internet issue. So what I want to show you is that we have special reservations for LeakCon 2019. The contracts have been signed. The facts are in, kids. And the links will be below. They'll be on the LeakCon Facebook page. They'll be on the LeakCon Ticket Spice. But most importantly, they'll be below this video as well. Welcome to the Marriott Leak Project page. Where you can make a reservation in the most cutting edge venue in all of Denver, Colorado for $119 each night. Unprecedented. The average room price in Denver is $249. 119 a night for the event. For those that are coming, we're going to throw a party Friday night. A special meet and greet from 6 to 8 at the Marriott. So get a room there. You can only go to the event if you have a room at the Marriott or you're via VIP. So it's only limited to a few hundred people. It's going to be a, a rad event. If you want to go to LeakCon 2019, if you get there early, if you're going to stay at the Marriott, get the special rate. I don't know why you would want to pay $100 more. <laughs> that seems stupid. So I want to see hundreds of people coming over here and making reservations at the Marriott through our Leak Project page for LeakCon 2019. Look at the alcohol front. Look at the glass they put in. Could you imagine what your room looks like? Make a reservation. And they'll show you. Just click the button. It's that easy. It's not scary. But something's happening. May 18th, 19th, Denver Marriott Tech Center. Special reception, 6 to 8 p.m. on the 17th if you're staying at the venue. Look at that. That's This is where you get to chill. Look at that. This is where the event's going to be. This place is amazing. And they created this website for us. It's only the beginning. We're months out. It's going to be awesome. Are you going to be there? X-ray flux showing no activity. That sunspot looking plague that turned around the limb died. We'll, we'll talk about earth facing quiet in the coming days as we learn more about the sun. As the facts come in. But the phi angle has shifted. The sun is now. We are now earth to sun. And it, the plasma stream is coming in, folks. Here's the speed. It's going up. Another little slight spike. So we could be seeing geomagnetic storm right now. And let's refresh this because we've been going on and on for a half an hour. 
I need a shower next year. Mm. No, so we're still at KP2. Okay, we have a slight plateau here up at around 500, 520. Still not that funny. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Get your tickets for LeeCon, general admission, or VIP. The, tick, the prices are going to go up shortly. There are only 150 general admission left, 50 VIP. It's a small venue so that we can all get to know each other. It's going to be live streamed for $20, right around there. Don't quote me on it. $19.99. <laughs> so you get the whole weekend live stream to you if you need to live stream it and you can't afford the price or the plane. You can always sleep in the back of my truck. Email me. We love each and every one of you. We want to thank our new Patreons, our one-time donors, all of our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do it now. Share this with people who do not believe. Share this with people looking for answers to their questions. I answer every single one of my messages and emails. Unless you're a troll. And then you're blocked. Be safe.